So the question is, three liquids of densities D, 2D and 3D are mixed in equal volumes. Then the density of the mixture is, all right? So we have taken equal volume of all the three liquids and we have made a mixture out of it. Excellent. Now we want to find out what will be the density of the mixture. Okay, so how do we define the density of the mixture? It is going to be the total mass divided by the total volume. All right. So the mass of the first liquid is going to be its density multiplied by its volume. So let's assume that the volume taken for each of these three liquids was V. So what will be the density of the first liquid? It is going to be D times V. What will be the mass of the second liquid? It is going to be 2D multiplied by V plus the third liquid will have the mass 3D multiplied by V. So we have the total mass on top. What is the total volume? V plus V plus V. Hence that is 3V. What are we left with finally? So this is 6DV divided by 3V. V gets cancelled and we are left with 2D. So the density of the remaining mixture is going to be 2D. Pretty simple question. Let's move forward. But before that, let's have a look at the options. So naturally option B is going to be my right option. So the question is, which of the following options hold true for gauge pressure? Okay, could be positive, maybe negative, maybe zero or all of the above. So let's see. So what do we know about gauge pressure is that it is measured relative to the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so the absolute pressure or the total pressure is a combination of the atmospheric pressure and the gauge pressure. Okay, so suppose we are at a point where the total pressure is greater than the atmospheric pressure. In that case, the gauge pressure is going to come out to be positive. Okay, when we are at a situation where the atmospheric pressure and the total pressure is equal, then the gauge pressure is going to come out to be zero. And in a situation when the absolute pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure, then gauge pressure is going to come out to be negative. All right. So it can assume all the three values, zero, positive or negative. Hence, the correct option is going to be all of the above. So the question is, with increase in altitude, atmospheric pressure increases, decreases, remain constant, may increase or decrease. All right. So we have a chart, which is the variation of the pressure with height. And we can easily see that with the height increasing, the pressure is decreasing. So it starts with 1000 and it goes to 0 0.001 millibar of pressure. Okay. But we did not really need this diagram to figure that out because the pressure is given by rho g h. Okay. So the pressure at depth h. So let's say we this is our reference point and this is the depth h then the pressure is given by rho g h. We know that very well. So if we go to an altitude, then the height of the column above that point is going to be lesser. Okay, so naturally h is going to be lesser and so the pressure is going to be lesser. All right. Another reason is that as you go higher up into the altitude, the density of air reduces. So that also reduces rho in this equation and hence, the combination of rho lowering and h lowering lowers the pressure as we go higher into the altitude. Okay, so my correct option obviously is going to be option B decreases. So the question is, the pressure at the bottom of a tank containing a liquid does not depend on acceleration due to gravity, height of the liquid column, area of the bottom surface, nature of the liquid. Okay, so we are talking about pressure at the bottom of this water column. Let's say this has some height, okay, h. And let's say the liquid has a density rho. So what do we know? The pressure is going to be the pressure at this point. I'll call that P0. If it is open, it could be atmospheric pressure. But if it is closed, then the pressure at that particular point, okay, whatever that is, it is the pressure at that point. I'm calling that P0 plus rho g h. This is the pressure at a depth h. We know that very well. Okay. So what does it depend on? Does it depend on acceleration due to gravity? Of course it does. Does it depend on the height of the liquid column? 
Of course it does. And does it depend on the area of the bottom surface? Does, do you see any area in your equation? I don't see that. And the nature of the liquid? Of course, because the density is going to depend on the nature of the liquid. So it's very obvious that the correct option in this case is going to be area of the bottom surface. The pressure at the bottom of that vessel or tank is not going to depend on the area of the bottom surface. So the question is, the pressure at the bottom of a tank of water is 3P, where P is the atmospheric pressure. If the water is drawn out till the level of water is lowered by one fifth, the pressure at the bottom of the tank will now be. All right, so this is a tank and the pressure at the bottom is given by 3P out of which P is the pressure due to the atmosphere. All right, so the first information we have here is, and I'm talking about the initial condition, that the total pressure is given by the atmospheric pressure plus the column of liquid, which is there, okay? So the let's say the density of the liquid is rho, height is h, and g is the acceleration due to gravity, okay? We know that this is equal to P plus 2P. Why have I done that? Because P is the atmospheric pressure and 2P is going to be the pressure due to this liquid column and hence the total pressure is equal to 3P. All right, this is the initial condition. Now what we have done? Now we have reduced it by, we have reduced the height of the liquid column by one fifth. That means now we will be left with only 4H by 5 height of the liquid column okay so now what will be the pressure the pressure is going to be the atmospheric pressure plus rho g and now we are going to place here the new height of the liquid column okay now let's see what is p naught p naught is obviously equal to p because if i reduce the height of the water column then the atmospheric pressure is not to get going to get affected so it is still going to be p Okay, then I can write it as rho g into what is the new height? New height is 4h by 5. All right, so this becomes p plus. Now we know that rho g h is equal to 2p. Rho g h is equal to 2p. So can we replace rho g h over here? Of course we can. So this becomes 4 by 5 and rho g h I can replace it by 2 P. So what am I left with? I'm left with P plus 8P divided by 5 and simplifying this I get 13P divided by 5 and that will be the new pressure at the bottom of the tank. All right, let's have a look at the options. So option B is going to be my right option.